how to set up auto reply in your Gmail account. Hi, I'm Samantha Studebaker Carl from blogwithsamantha.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the auto reply function inside your Gmail account. First thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and log into Gmail. Then you are going to come over here to the, the kind of type top right corner and click on this little settings cog and scroll down to where it says settings. Next you want to go ahead and scroll all the way down here where it says not signature, it says vacation responder. Now a lot of times your email account will call the auto reply a vacation responder because it's something that you can set up when you go on vacation, right? Um, that way you don't have to worry about responding to people, but you can also set it up to be a permanent auto reply in your Gmail account and uh, change it at any time that you want to. Um, so the first thing that you're going to do obviously is turn on the vacation auto responder. You just want to click this little button or this little whatever you want to call that, little dot, <clears throat> excuse me. And then you're going to set the date as the first day of whenever it is you want this to go ahead and start um, auto-replying to people who email you. And obviously if it's today, then you can set it up for today. And if you want it to stop after a certain number of days, say this really is for your vacation, then you can choose the last day that you want to send this message out. However, if you want this auto-reply to always be on, then you just don't choose a last day. Okay, so the next thing you do is you just put in your subject line and it can be whatever you want it to say, obviously. I'm just going to say, I got your message. And then in this area right here is where you put your response. And of course you can format it just like you would a regular email by putting, you know, any kind of text formatting in here that uh, goes along with this bar. It just gives you the option. You can change the font text size, bold, italic, underline, text color, you can create links, you can insert an image, you can align the text however you want, insert bullet points, uh, indent, put quotations, um, you know, and remove formatting. So those are your options in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and put in some text real quick. It's just a little message that I completed or wrote out before we started this to make this go quicker. And I'm going to tell you a couple other little things here real quick. Okay, so obviously, all right, so you can see this. And if I wanted to format any of this text, I would just use one of those toolbars up there, or tool links up there. Now, one thing I want to show you in here is that um, down here where I have this thing that says signature, I'm going to go ahead and delete that because um, I just wanted to let you know this is where your signature goes. Obviously, you can go ahead and just type in your signature on this uh, auto reply if you want to, or if you want to set up a, a more a different signature that pops up when you compose messages as well, you can go to this little section here where it says signature, and you can format your entire signature in this section and then in your auto reply you just leave your signature blank down here hopefully that makes sense so you can either enter your signature here or you can create a signature that is always going to go out um, whether you're creating a message or you're auto replying one or the other so once you get your message set up just how you want it then all you have to do is click on save changes and one of the things that you may want to consider is um, if you want to have it only go out to people who are in your contact list so if you don't want this message to go out to everyone and you only want them to go out to people that you're connected with then you can do that if you want it to go out to everybody regardless of who they are then uh, you can leave this unchecked and see if there's anything else I wanted to tell you about this um, Obviously, there is a little bit more information about this vacation responder over here um, that can tell you a little bit more, uh, you know, if you have more questions about it or whatever. Um, otherwise, this is the simple way to go ahead and set up your email auto reply. And uh, again, you just want to make sure that you save changes. And now, 
every time somebody sends you a message it's going to they're going to get a an email auto reply from you um, that'll let them know whatever you want to let them know so with that guys have a great day and uh, if you need more assistance if you need uh, more help with things online I do offer private lessons and there will be a, a link somewhere below this video or on my blog depending on where you are and um, also on my blog you'll find other links to numerous other types of tutorials so hit me up if you would like to get more um, specific in-depth training on Gmail or any other service um, similarly and uh, if you like this video if it was helpful to you then please click like and subscribe to my channel for any time that I update or add a new video um, to my channel so with that have a great day and we'll see you in the next video bye for now